of the second game running, Mark Cooper comes up against one of his former clubs. The Forest Green Rovers manager suffered a surprise defeat at home to Notts County on Saturday. And his old side Swindon won 3-2 at MK Dons. Cooper was just one win away from getting Swindon promoted to the championship in the 2015 League One player final. We'll have a minute silence ahead of kickoff to remember Danny Williams, the manager who led Swindon to League Cup success, who died at the age of 94. <laughs> the only manager in Swindon's history to win a major cup honour. Woolery takes the throw in. Keshi Anderson tried to exchange passes with him, but it was easily intercepted. And good footwork as well. The free kick is given. And George Williams pulls up there. Left-footed free kick is headed up in the air by Dowerty. Scored a couple of goals at the weekend. And the ball fell inside the penalty area, and that was a real opportunity. Williams should have buried that one. Digby. Lewis Ward gets real distance on his clearance. It drops from the Swindon night sky and picked up in midfield. And an opportunity for Swindon to come forward here. Good surging run. Does it win a free kick? It does. to take it quickly, the referee calls play back. And a card as well. Swindon had to make a change very late on to this starting lineup. Danny Rose pulled up with a hamstring problem, we think, in the warm-up. Tennis Carroll coming into the side for him. The free kick is deflected. With a good measure, it's turned away as Dion Conroy went for goal. Lewis Ward taking no chances. Woolery. Overlapping run from Koiki. Koiki checks back, looking for support, which he gets. Woolery plays it back in field, and it's over the top. A good-looking ball as well. Cross is hung up. The goalkeeper completely misses it. Screen Rovers are looking jittery at the back. And the pressure at the back. Noyle puts it into touch for a Forest Green throw in. Throw in is returned and drop of the shoulder into the penalty area. It's a good run and the shot goes high over the crossbar. Green Rovers have the best away record in League Two. 29 points, eight wins in 15 matches on the road. Got some defending to do here, though, with Keshi Anderson. Darcy helps it to Koiki. Really good footwork to make the space and get a low cross into the area. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper, and it's off the line on the rebound too. Theo Robinson denied not once but twice. And it could be even worse for Swindon here. No free kick given. Winchester surges forward. He's got options available. But he went for goal alone. George Williams absolutely furious he didn't play the pass. And Lawrence Vigoru doesn't even have to make a save in the end. Williams, Shepherd available if he wants him. Instead, he plays it back into midfield. Lloyd James, it is Shepherd on the ball now. Easily intercepted though by the captain Doughty. Good pass out by Robinson, and the effort comes in. And what an effort too! with his first goal in 10 matches. 
What a finish. Nine minutes before half time. Swindon in front with an absolute belter. Nothing Lewis Walker do. Feels for a free kick and nothing's given. It's Keshi Anderson. Doughty is in the form of his life in front of goal. Works it wide, but he wants it back on the edge of the box. And he's got a taste for goal. Goes alone. Easily saved by Ward. Vigarous. All downfield is controlled by Anderson. Play through for Theo Robinson. Wonderful turn and an even better finish. What a way to get off the mark for your new club. An assist and a goal a minute before half time. And the Forest Green Rovers defence inside out. Two good finishes for Swindon. What a horrendous week this is turning out to be for Forest Green Rovers, unless they can turn around this two goal deficit. Here's Reese Brown. Deutsch, who's had a quiet evening so far. Well, they win themselves a corner. Reese Brown, such a clever player, playing in behind the front men. Takes the short corner. And the shot comes in, and Figaro, did he get a touch? Referee says no. Winchester. Great passing down the right-hand side. They've got the overlapping run too, and a ball in's a good one. And Williams' header is fumbled by Vigaru. But the flag is up. And what's a let-off for the Swindon goalkeeper there. Threw himself into the challenge to intercept the pass. Mills throw. Brown. Have a pass from Brown. And Williams has a go again, but puts it wide. Six goals in his last ten matches. Hasn't really been Williams' night otherwise tonight, though. Doughty. Woodery. Here's the ball in behind. And the ball is cut back as well. And he hits the side netting. Not half of the county ground. Thought that one had gone in. It's wide. Mills ball in field, Winchester. Lots of space opening up here for McGinley. Reluctant to get the cross in. Eventually it does come, goalkeeper comes and hesitates and the header is turned around the post by Vigory. Good stop at his near post there. This game originally called off 10 days ago because of a frozen pitch. And Mitchie Wellen's influence on this team is certainly growing. If Swindon can hold on to the advantage, another cross is played in. And again, the goalkeeper came and missed it. He was hurt there too. And another opportunity for Forest Green Rovers. It just isn't happening for them tonight. Quite judge the bounce of the ball there. Gunning managed to get it clear though. Deutsch. Deutsch's pass and the cross goes behind for a corner. Swindon are desperate to keep hold of the clean sheet. And it's cleared away at the near post. And into the side netting. And with that. Is it the last opportunity of the game for Forest Green Rovers? Try and play their way out from the back, but in doing so, they played themselves into trouble. Woolery skips around his marker. The angle's tight, so he cuts it back. 
And Forest Green Rovers will get the ball away. And we're deep into stoppage time now as it's headed out for a oh, Forest Green Rovers throw. Looked like it had gone for a Swindon throw there. It's irrelevant anyway, because that is the full-time whistle. And it's back-to-back -back victories for Swindon Town. The damage done in the first half with goals from Woolery and Theo Robinson. 2-0, it finishes.